A growing ground bulge detected near Three Sisters Volcanoes. Well, means that an eruption from this volcano might be imminent. And Oregon geologists are keeping a close eye on the ground movements in the Three Sisters volcanic region. And that's how they've detected the subtle increase in the rate of uplift in the ground near the South Sister volcano. We're going to go over all the data and all the implications now. Now, this is a re rejuvenated uplift near the South Sister volcano, and you're looking at the Three Sisters here. Now, using satellite imagery and sophisticated GPS instruments, Cascades Volcano Observatory geophysicists have detected a subtle increase in the rate of uplift of, ground, of the ground surface about three miles west of South Sister Volcano. This is in Oregon. Episodes of increased uplift have been observed in this area before. However, the major uplift began in 2004, and this is one single ongoing event. Albeit, this, these volcanoes haven't erupted for a very long time. We'll get to that at the end of the video. Now, even though there is uplift, the volcano alert level is and remains at normal. Three sisters at the bottom here, as well as all of the Cascade volcanoes themselves. Now, data from satellite radar images show an uplift of around an inch or 2.2 centimeters, about the width of an adult's thumb. And the, this has occurred between the summer of 2020 and August 2021, across an area 12 miles in diameter. GPS data from a volcano monitoring station near the center of the uplift measured at least 0.2 inches of uplift since August of 2021. Additionally, Seismologists observed brief bursts of small earthquakes in October of 2021, December of 2021, and then January 2022. Most of these shallow earthquakes are too small to locate precisely, but those located are inside the uplifted area. And you can see the uplift data on the top in the red line, as well as the seismic data below. And some sort of a kickoff event here in 2004 and a continuous rise in the ground surface with, well, quite an episode here. Now, uplift occurred in the same general area in the mid-1990s. And during the 25 years between 1995 and 2020, the area rose approximately 12 inches, or 30 centimeters. That's one foot, kids. Although the current uplift rate is slower than the maximum rate, which was measured in 1999 and 2000, it is distinctly faster than the rate observed for several years before 2020. And if we come back to this graph, you can see this massive uplift that occurred rapidly here between 1999 and 2000, almost vertical. And then some ups and downs, but something is happening anew. The uplift is attributed to, you guessed it, small pulses of magma accumulating at roughly four miles below the ground surface. It's been accumulating now for two decades. While any magmatic intrusion could eventually lead to a volcanic eruption, an eruption here likely would be preceded by detectable and more vigorous earthquakes, which we're not seeing yet, ground movement, which we are seeing, and geochemical changes in general. As magma moves upward during an intrusion, it causes continued accelerated uplift. And that's why we're getting this bulging effect here on the surface. And there is the four mile subsurface magma chamber bulging up in the graphic. But what we should be actually looking at is continuated or accelerated uplift. And we don't see that just yet. We should also be looking for fractures in the rock which will generate swarms of earthquakes. And this will release significant amounts of volcanic gases, which we will be able to detect on the surface, such as carbon dioxide or sulfur dioxide. And we do not detect any of these signs currently. But the first ingredient in the recipe for 
eruption is occurring, uplift, as more magma moves into the chamber and has been doing so for decades. Now, the good news is that Three Sisters hasn't erupted for about 1,500 years. Lots of other volcanoes have erupted in the Cascades in just the last 200 years, including Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, Rainier. We all know about St. Helens, Mount Hood even, Shasta and Lassen. All have erupted in the last 200 years. And we're waiting on the Three Sisters, Newberry, Crater Lake, Medicine Lake, and others to step forward. Now, is there any evidence that Three Sisters will erupt? Yes, it's uplifting now and magma is being in placed underneath of the volcanoes. So Three Sisters is going to erupt. Does it matter? Probably not. It only erupts at VEI2, going all the way back through the Holocene. In the last 10,000 years, these volcanoes only erupted VEI2. So that's what we would expect during the next eruption. So nothing to worry about. Certainly something to go witness and enjoy the beauty of Mother Nature at Three Sisters, which will erupt soon in the Cascades, just not that soon. In fact, we will have enough data, surface data, and the amount of imagery and instruments that they're putting on these volcanoes, we will have fair warning. So stay tuned for more updates on the Three Sisters. And before we leave, we have a nice five-minute video on how the geologists are working on the volcanoes and how they're monitoring the situation. Today, I'm here at Three Sisters in Central Oregon, and I'm here to install some monitoring equipment to keep track of something that's been going on for 25 years and still goes on today. My name is Dan Zarishan. I'm a geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, and I'm here at Three Sisters uh, today to install some GPS monitoring equipment that will tell us how much the ground is moving, not, not shaking with earthquakes, but moving ever so slowly, uh, just a small fraction of an inch per year. Sometime in the mid-1990s, the area around Three Sisters started going up. And it was a very, very large area, more than 10 miles across, the center of it going up about two inches a year. And I'm going to say that again. More than 10 miles across, center of it going up a little more than two inches a year. One thing that can cause that is magma moving around underground, or in particular, magma rising from greater depth in the Earth up to a shallower depth, which forces the surface to move upward in a very broad bulge. And we suspected that might be what was going on. A colleague of mine used what was then a relatively new system that makes use of radar satellites orbiting the Earth. They take radar images of the Earth's surface. They go around some additional orbits. They take another radar image of the same surface. And by overlaying those and comparing them in a, in a certain way, you can actually get a picture of how much the ground moved toward or away from the satellite, down to a fraction of an inch. It's revolutionary. It's, it's incredible. And my, my colleague did that using images from the late 1990s, 1999, 2000. And what he saw was this big bulge 10 miles across. And so the USGS, uh, working with our partners uh, in the Forest Service, installed a series of monitoring stations out here to keep track of the rate at which that bulge is growing. And we measure that in a variety of ways. We continue to use the ra uh, radar satellite data to keep track of it, to give us the broad map. But then we put GPS stations out at specific locations, fixed to rock that's rigidly attached to the Earth, and we can measure very, very accurately how much that particular point has moved, more accurately than you can measure using the radar satellites. The radar satellites give you a picture of the entire bulge. Our GPS stations give us very, very accurate measurements of how much individual points have moved. And that's what we're doing here today. 
Hi, today I'm here at Three Sisters and we are right near South Sister, which is right over there. And today I'm going to show you how we set up our GPS monitoring system in order to measure ground deformation. So we have a pin right here that is cemented into this lava flow. Um, and then this is the antenna and we're gonna have to set it to true north, but it just goes right in like this. Um, and this is what receives the signals from the satellites in order to collect the data. Um, this is the receiver, and this is what's going to store all the data that we collect over the next two months. And it is powered by two lithium ion batteries that look like this. And we also have this antenna cable, which basically just connects the antenna under here, and it's going to go in through the box through the side and connect to the receiver. Um, and then we also have a solar panel over here, which will face south. Um, and that's just the backup in case the batteries run out of energy. Okay, so box right here. So that's how they do it. It's pretty fascinating. And uh, the lava flow that they were putting that into was from about 440 years ago. Oh, from 440 AD. My bad, plus or minus. Um, so that was about 1,550 years ago. That lava flow they were on looked fresh as can be, and that was from a VEI2 eruption there at the South Sister. If you want to watch more, come over and check out the USGS tracking uplift near Three Sisters. Give them a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hope you got something out of the video. I love geology, and I hope you do too. And that's a boom to knowledge. Nothing to worry about at the Three Sisters. Anyone claiming otherwise is nothing but a fear monger. We have the facts. Stick with the winners. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. That's a boom. To knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more of it.